Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $125 Dallas, hello. You can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing in the comment section. But if you're doing well for yourself, let's pass this on to our friends and family that could use the extra come up. But anybody is welcome to enter the win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. Now I do have a second channel, the Woke Phoenix, that I have just created. Um, that do not do not enter to win over there y'all it is a completely different um channel it also i have started a 75 dollars giveaway if you also subscribe to woke as well as my TikTok, you can enter to win 75 dollars that channel is is on its own um they are general collective reads and it is i'm it's a completely different thing to scorpio priestess and i am uh intending to grow that channel and keep it that way because i have a lot of uh collect i have a lot of different signs zodiac signs that i read for on TikTok, and um i wanted to create something that was for all the different zodiac signs and i decided to keep scorpio priestess just for my beautiful sexy handsome scorpios so this is now exclusively a scorpio channel now if you vibe with us if you if you resonate with the reading i love uh, you're welcome to be here if you're a cross watcher I'm sending you love. Please feel free to switch around the energy. With that being said, we are going to see what is the truth. What is the truth behind how this person is feeling, how they're acting? What is the truth, the person on your mind, Scorpio? Spirit, tell me, what has this person been up to? What have they been up to? This is a no contact or very light contact reading. Energy vampire. This is somebody here who literally comes back and forth and drains you of your supply. For some of you, this is a karmic. You're dealing with a karmic. For others, this person is dealing with a karmic. They are stuck in a toxic karmic love. They keep going back to a very toxic karmic. They're staying regardless of all the red flags. There's a lot of codependency over there, but they're rushing in and out of your life to get your energy, suck you dry, and run right back out the door. Um, this person seems to be in a love balmy energy. They come in here, they tell you that they're sorry, they tell you they tell you that they'll do anything, or um, they they try to pretend like uh, you know you did A, B, and C, Scorpio. That's why I haven't talk to you in two weeks they, they gaslight you and make you feel like you are the reason why they are doing what they are doing they are a energy vampire be careful of them there they seem to be involved what is this toxic karmic love with a toxic ass karmic now for some of you this connection has become completely karmic because you have had so many cycles that it's all now just um inc incredibly painful karmic lessons this karmic seems to seduce them. They're in it to win it, okay? This karmic uh, could be somebody they meant at work. It could have been a workplace affair and they can't seem to stay away from this toxic ass karmic. I feel, Scorpio, this karmic tries to be hopeful. They wait for this person when they come back to you. They wait for this person. Uh, they, they tolerate whatever this person gives them. For some of them, they have been in this connection with them for years, 20 years doing this dumb shit. This person rushes out the door. They may meet new people. And this karmic takes them back every time. They seem to um, really... Are, they're always trying to uh, seduce your person or keep your person somehow. For some of you, you were married to this person and they meant this karmic at work or they were using work as an excuse. Um, and yeah, again, career and finance, or they could have meant them online. 
you could have met this person online that there was suspicious online activity that you found out about the truth is this person could be dating online now twisting the facts here the karmic is making them feel sorry for them acting like a martyr um, your person seems to be focusing on improving their finances right now, focusing on work, trying to push away whatever it is that's going on between the two of you uh, out of their mind. Just very focused on uh, work and toxic ass behavior. Um, this person may have came back and asked you to take them back, but they still had a third party in the background and you found out about it or they rush in and out of your life, drain your supply and rush right back to this toxic ass karmic. Um, there's something going on here like that. I think of you often, I can still feel you. I've learned so much from you, even if you don't know that. Thank you. I'm sorry I was mean to you. It was a defense mechanism. And I have deep regrets for the way we parted. I didn't want to go our separate ways, but it seemed best at the time. And I thought you would chase me. I'm sad. This person rushes in and out of your life. They could have been incredibly mean to you, rude. They could have ghosted you, blocked you because they went back to this toxic ass karmic. Or, or, or some of you, that is totally the case. You may have had to block this person because it got so crazy between you and this this toxic ass karmic lover um it just became really really bad and and i feel like you're trying to figure yourself out right now this person is trying to push it away they feel incredibly guilty for what they have done <clears throat> why does this person continue to go back to this karmic lover please because they make too quick of decisions they have no willpower. They're incredibly weak. And five of cups energy, they are so regretful for doing it. For some of you, this person just it continues to cheat with the same person that they have some weird soul tie to. Um, they have very little willpower. This, this karmic seduces them. You know, it's calling them, sending them naked pics or, or, or telling them they'll do this for them. They'll do that for them. This, this toxic ass karmic seems pretty pathetic to me. Uh, no disrespect, but they truly do. This could be an air sign, a Leo, a water sign. Um, I, I feel, tell me about this karmic. Tell me about what, what this karmic is doing. Yeah, they want they, they could be married to your person or they want marriage. For a lot of you, this is somebody they have children to, Empress Energy. This could be a baby mom, baby dad. They actually feel incredibly rejected, very rejected by this person, but they want long term, they want marriage. For some of you, this karmic tells your person that they're they're it, twin flames or that they're soulmates or something like this. This karmic thinks that um, that this person uh, belongs to them is the message that I'm receiving, um, mostly because they have children. So they think this person will forever have to be with them, that they can't ever walk away. I could go get pregnant to the mailman down the street. That doesn't mean we're supposed to spend our life together. Unfortunately, though, some people feel like if you have children, then you always have to be together. Like... You know, I own you. I own them. And a lot of you are dealing with that scenario right now. Um, this person had a family or children to someone who now feels that they own them. This could be a Taurus or a Libra, a fire sign. What about, what's manipulation, please? Who's manipulating what? Sagittarian energy, temperance, the knight of pentacles, nine of swords. This karmic seems to have tried to uh, manipulate um, your person here to stay because money's moving too slow, um, because they, they're making them feel like it's not the right time. Um, it's really putting this person in their mind. They're going round and round and round. Nine of Swords energy. This person can't seem to decide what it is they should do. But this karmic's manipulating them, acting as if they don't have enough money to support their self and the kids, or they, they need more money. It, it's something along the lines of that. Um, I really feel like it's going to be important for this person to break away from this karmic for a moment so they can think clearly. For some of them, the karmic is the fucking an, um, energy vampire, really. What are they going to do towards Scorpio, please? 
They want to come in Six of Pentacles energy, Page of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. They want to come in here and be generous. Now, the thing is, is this person could have a, a drinking problem. They could overindulge. They're on incredibly selfish. Um, but Page of Cups, they want to reach out with some small love offer. They want to come in here and um, tell you that they want what you want. They want to give to this connection now. Um, you know, they understand now whatever it is that is going on here that they've been wrong. I feel like it's you, you may never hear apologies from this person. They never want to take ownership for what they've done. They just come in and love bomb. Um, I, I really sense that this person is coming out of illusion and starting to understand exactly who this karmic is. Yeah, they're, they can't move on here. They're having a really hard time moving on, but Spirit is giving you a big message that this person is unchanged. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I am not going to change. And when I see my future... I see you. Oh, boy. This is somebody who um, is going to come in and tell you that. That I can't right now. Now's not the time. I can't leave yet. It's not time for me to leave yet. I still have to do A, B, and C. The kids are still young. Um, this, that, whatever the case is. But in the future, um, Scorpio, we will be together. Really. But they are unchanged. So be incredibly careful. Be very, very mindful that this person is still exactly who they were when they walked out the door. The truth is they're dealing with a toxic ass karmic, but that and they're being manipulated, but they are a love bomber themselves. Learning information, knowledge, revealing facts. This person could come in and reveal something to you, tell you something. Um, tell you uh, a, a secret that they've been keeping or tell you the real reason why they stay with this karmic. For some of you, this karmic blackmails them. And they're always like, you know, telling them, I'm going to take you to court. I'm going to take all your money. I'm going to tell A, B, and C to um, this person or that person. I'm going to get you fired. I don't know. I'm going to call your probation officer. They're always uh, manipulating. And so your person seems to want to tell you what really goes on here. This could be a long distance connection, but it could be in the next three days to three months that you hear from them. They could be an Aries or a Pisces. This is someone w that would have to relocate. They would have to move in with you or they would have to move um, out of, of a home that they share with this toxic ass karmic. So the truth is this person online dates or they're always keeping their options open. They ran into some toxic ass karmic or they've, they have kids to this toxic ass karmic and they're being blackmailed to stay. They truly do love you, Scorpio, but this is someone who's got their self in one hell of a mess, being manipulated, being um, constantly, you know, baited, seduced. Mm -mm -mm. I would be careful here. I feel for some of you, you've actually had words with this, uh, this karmic, this third party. You've actually had words with them. You may have more words with them to come. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. This took a crazy turn. <laughs> Love and light.